guys, it's Claire. Welcome back. If you have been following our channel this year, this growing season, you know that pest control and taking care of pests organically has been one of our number one priorities. When we grew last year, one of the things we quickly realized is if we're gonna be organic, which we are committed to doing, um, we have to stay like 10 steps ahead of the bugs and the pest. And we did a terrible job last year. And as a result, even though we grew quite a good bit of food, we lost a lot of it to the critters. So um, this year, that was one of our goals. We are doing maybe better, I can't decide. I think that we've both been really surprised that even in the winter and the cold months, how much slug damage we have dealt with. And, and just things on our cabbages and our broccoli, all the, the brassicas have just struggled. And that's with neem oil, and that's with Diametrius Earth, and that's with putting down, you know, the wood chips. So, I have some hot tea for me, and I have a beer for the bugs. Um, what we have not done is put cups with beer in them to attract and kill the slugs. So that's what we're going to do today. We've got a beer, we're gonna bury it in the ground in these solo cups, I'm about to show you. And let's see how many we can trap this way because it just got done raining and I just came out here and they're everywhere. They're so gross. Hang on, let me show you. Look at these little effers. I mean, as if they own the place. Munching on my bolted broccoli. Now the good news is it's bolted, so it's not a plant that's gonna stay. But let me find some more. Ooh, there's one down there. You see it? Let me put this thing down. That has got to go. As does that. That's on a that little tiny seedling. Come on, dude. This plant must be extra tasty. Look, look at these things. One, two, and there's one over here. I mean, ew, there's two. So, and see the way that I can tell is look at those holes in my plants. I mean, obviously something's getting out here. So we know we have something, but really it's not until after it rains that I can find them just so Look, there's a little one. Can you see it? It's like hiding right there. Oh, gross. Ah! There's one right there by my hand. So, I think you guys look right there. And that's on my onion. Oh look, there's another one. There we go. Oh look, and there's another one. I mean, they are just everywhere. There's another one. <laughs> I'm thinking that you get my drift. There's another one. I think it's time for just another, you know, experiment. And maybe experiment's too strong of a word. Maybe more just a watch and see because we have done the neem oil, we've done the Diametrius Earth, we've put down the wood chips that are supposedly harder for them to crawl through. Um, you can see, I mean, they're everywhere. And we've already lost six, we put down eight broccolis two months ago. We've got three that are thriving and we've got five that are just gone because they've just been munched on. They never got a chance. So I'm gonna bury this beer and I'm going to take off all the slugs. And I'll tell you for the slugs, the way to kill them is to pull them off and just put them in a cup of water. I'm just gonna bury them in the beer, since that's what I've got. Um, but then we'll just keep our eye on it and see how it goes, and I'll give you an update and a later video. Okay, so the stuff that's covered in slugs, that's already bolted, I'm just gonna go ahead and put in the compost because we don't need it. I don't think it's gonna go to seed in the next two or three days, which is when I'm going to get my tomatoes and peppers out. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop this into our compost bin. And hopefully the fact that there's still slugs on it is okay because it's really gross killing slugs even with my gloves on they're like sticking to it and I have to shove them in the beer and it's not good
What? Well, look what I just saw in the garden. That is two slugs in your beer cup you just bought. Ooh, let's go see it. Go get another beer and let's fill it all the way up to the top so they can't, they can't escape. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. We're not drinking it right now. Let's let's let the slugs have it. Yeah. Although it's, it's quality beer. That's the yeah, only sad all thing. Lucky <laughs> slug. All right. Yeah. Do you need to say a blessing or a prayer? I think I should. I think I should say, dear universe, we offer this Allagash White as a waste of a perfectly good beer <laughs> to the slugs. I hope they enjoy it very much more than they enjoy our product. To be fair, it's not that big of a sacrifice for us because we quit drinking a while back and this has just been in our fridge. So. <laughs> nope. Okay. Uh, we'll fill up, fill it up the rest of it. Can you not? It's pretty full. All right, little sluggies. Prepare to die. <laughs> hey guys, it's Claire. It's, duh, obviously it's me. That was a stupid thing to say. Okay. Retake. <laughs> it's the next morning. I am getting ready to go paddle boarding, so excuse my uh, bathing suit and <laughs> swim attire. But I did want to just come out here and check on our beer traps of death. And I have to say, I think they were extraordinarily successful there was a ton of slugs in there they're they're really dirty looking so I'm not sure when I show it to you real quick how much you'll be able to see so that's what one of them looked like this morning and that big leaf is there was some slugs on a leaf so I just tore the leaf off and then here's the other one looks pretty gross I guess my next question about the beer is do we need to refresh this beer every day because my understanding is it's the smell or does that beer last for a couple of days? Or, you know, how, how are we on our slug beer consumption schedule here? Because I can I can buy more beer if that's gonna take care of this problem. Um, so if you know the answer to that, please leave us a comment. And honestly, like, we love all the comments and I respond to every single one. And, and it's just fun to learn from other people. So many people have made really great points or they've brought things up that we maybe should have talked about and just forgot to. And so we'll make it a point to talk about those things in the future. Um, people have asked great questions. So if you've got comments, man, leave them for us, whether you're more experienced than us or beginning, doesn't matter. We will answer all of them. And then, you know, if, if you like following along and being part of our journey, and we hope that you do, please hit the subscribe button. It really helps YouTube get our content in front of people like you who would also really you know enjoy this journey so that would help us a lot and it'll help you make sure that you don't miss any of our videos since we're putting out content twice a week so thanks so much i hope you guys have a beautiful day it's gorgeous here in zone 7b north atlanta and um enjoy yourself have a good time be safe bye So we hope you guys are enjoying watching these videos as much as we're enjoying making them. It's been super fun, and it's been a journey. You can find out more about us at theormwoods.com and stream our music on the platform of your choice. Thanks for coming with us on this journey, and we hope to see all of you guys again live very soon.